Check this shit out. Let's not mince words here. There are games whose titles promise one thing and deliver another, and then there's Totally Rad. That cover with the Mohawk Lizard and the Saved by the Bell font is the pinnacle of 90s design. In the opening cutscenes, you've got this total Keanu Reeves ripoff kid spouting off 90s buzz phrases like, most excellent dude, and he thinks I have gnarly potential. But his magic mentor is this terrifying ventriloquist looking doll straight out of Kid Clown and Nightmare World. The Famicom version was called Magic John and follows more of a carnival theme, which makes way more sense, but the NES version wanted to up the attitude a bit. The intro to the action is that Jake is being forced to exercise, which is no totes bueno weasel, but after complaining a bunch, an enemy attacks by surprise? Then you're fighting robots in a futuristic landscape. Makes sense to me. This game is released by Jaleco and developed by Icom, who made other NES games like Vice Project Doom, Astyanax, and Amagon. Yeah, I said it. Totally Rad is essentially a Mega Man clone, following in the footsteps of other good but not great games like Cryon Conquest, Wampum, and Journey to Silius. He's even got a move that charges up exactly like the Mega Buster. The biggest difference between Totally Rad and Mega Man is the difficulty, and that's saying a lot because Mega Man is no walk in the park. The enemies you kill drop absolutely nothing, no health points or anything. The first time I've ever seen that in an action game. So you've got to be perfect in how you attack and avoid enemies, otherwise you'll be dead in 5 hits. Seriously, get used to playing that first level over and over and over. Wait a second, what the hell are these things on the start screen? Holy shit! This surfer dude starts the game with 10 magic spells, including half or full health recovery, a few screen clearing attacks corresponding to each element, and some rad transformation spells. There's this bear claw that turns you into a robot unicorn who becomes invincible when it jumps, the wing which turns you into Kid Icarus and now you can fly across the entire screen, and the fish that turns you into the creature from the Black Lagoon who can swim at some point. The wing makes certain levels a total breeze to completely fly over unencumbered, and the fish is pretty useful underwater, but damned if I know what the claw is good for. The full screen attacks are pretty useless, but the healing power is the obvious choice here, and you'll be using that constantly throughout the game. At first I found the choice of all these abilities to be a bit overwhelming, but it is absolutely the best feature of Totally Rad. The game is a run and gun for sure, but without any health items to find, each level is about resource management. Making sure you have enough magic to transform and heal when you need to, but really trying your best to save all of it for the very tough mid-level and in-boss fights. All that being said, not only is Totally Rad much better than I was expecting, I'd even go so far as to say it's a major hidden gem on the system. I'd honestly say it's the best NES Mega Man clone not named Power Blade. The dialogue, while obviously leaning heavily on 90s stereotypical surfer talk, kind of goes so hard with it that it moves into ironic territory and actually becomes pretty funny. Like when your girlfriend gets kidnapped and says, Jake, they're like stealing me or something. I legitimately laughed out loud. The graphics are really top notch, opting for smaller sprite sizes in order to create some surprisingly detailed and colorful backgrounds, while also saving some of that memory for these gigantic boss fights with what look like leftover Ninja Turtles action figures. The music is really upbeat and catchy, the level designs are pretty simple while still being challenging, and the control is very solid. The transformations and spells are the real draw of the gameplay, and I actually really love all the silly dialogue and cutscenes, especially these mid-level introductions straight out of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. There's just a lot of charm to every detail of this game, and while it's maybe not as polished as any title in the Mega Man series, it does hold its own pretty well. So yeah, despite initial impressions from its blinding neon cover art, its trying too hard story and dialogue, and its obvious Mega Man influences, Totally Rad is totally rad. The various spells give the game a ton of replay value for you to mix and match various abilities for different scenarios. And while it sounds really dry to say that the resource management aspect of Totally Rad is its best feature, yeah. Having to decide whether it's better to heal or kill everyone on screen or transform versus saving your magic for potential dangers in the future adds a lot of strategy and also suspense to the gameplay. All that, plus the excellent music and amazing colorful graphics, give Totally Rad all the tools it needs to be a great game. Check it out. Heyo!
If y'all like my channel and want to see more, I'm posting a bonus video every week at patreon.com slash words. Your support goes a long way and allows me more time to make more videos, so it's greatly appreciated. I'm also streaming a random game every Thursday, 9pm Eastern Time here on YouTube, so come by and hang out. And as always, thanks for watching.